How does a reverse osmosis system work? A reverse osmosis membrane is constructed from a membrane flat sheet. They are comprised of three layers, a polyester fabric support base, a microporous polysiphone layer, and a 0.2 micron thick polymide barrier layer. The polysiphone layer strengthens the very thin barrier layer. It's the barrier layer that removes organics, chemicals, bacteria, and salts from the water. The membrane flat sheet is combined with a sheet of feed channel spacer. This provides turbulence and creates space between the membrane sheets for the feed water. A sheet of permeate spacer is added to the membrane sheets and feed channel spacer. This enables the water product or permeate to flow evenly across the entire membrane surface even under high pressure. The back of the membrane is glued along each of the three exposed sides and rolled around the core tube, also known as the permeate collection tube. Feed water is forced through the feed channel spacer and into the barrier layer of the membrane. Water passes through the membrane surface into the permeate channel. It flows in a spiral direction and collects in the core tube. This water is the final reverse osmosis water or permeate. There can be up to seven spiral wound elements loaded in one pressure vessel. Once the end adapter is connected to the last element and the pressure vessel is sealed, feed water can be introduced. Feed water is pumped in at high pressure into the vessel as it travels. Pure water passes through the membrane while larger particles such as salt, bacteria, and viruses do not. The final permeate water is collected from the end of the elements. The concentrate or waste from that vessel flows to another stage, producing more reverse osmosis water. In this complete water solutions reverse osmosis example, there are six reverse osmosis trains, each with three stages. This design produces the highest amount of reverse osmosis water with reduced concentrate or waste. Stage 1 has 52 pressure vessels. Stage 2 has 24 pressure vessels. And Stage 3 has 12 pressure vessels. Up to 13 million gallons of water are fed to the reverse osmosis system on a daily basis. As the feed water passes through each stage, more reverse osmosis permeate water is extracted. 80% of all feed water is recovered as permeate, reverse osmosis water in this example. The remaining waste or concentrate contains high salt and impurities that is undesirable to send to another stage or recycle. It's sent to waste or used in other applications. Contact Complete Water Solutions for your reverse osmosis needs. Whether it's a new system or service on your existing system, Complete Water Solutions can help.